How y'all doing? What's up, Elsie Man? Clearing out all negative energies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No evil can stand. I'm still on I hope y'all are doing well. In my world, I don't lie. It's like, woo! It's like, Becky, what's going on, girl? Like, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> but we got through it. We got through it. Mm -hmm. We got our magical little lab, right? I made it a, a weaved, like, um, like in a case for it to wear on my neck, but because of work, you know what I'm saying? I'll take it off. Mm -hmm. Take it off. Take it off. Be like, baby, it was in my spirit. I get a little weird, man, I'm telling you. We clear out all negative energies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Alright, so we just gonna go for this. I got some new cards in home. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Holy Spirit, can you please help with the energies that are going on in this hour? What is something that can help? One of our fellow brothers and sisters. What is going on in this hour, Lord Jesus Christ? We're still under Bessino Shrine. Yeah, some of y'all are. Some of y'all are um, experiencing. You're having good work, all right? You're having good work, and the universe is helping bring this together, and you are sitting with um, abundance from your work. But I'm feeling that... I can also see where a celebration will come through for this hard work, but you really need to ground yourself in the spiritual realm, too, and let go of the earthly possessions, like... Those cards are beautiful, y'all. They're freaking gorgeous, aren't they? But there will be a celebration. You are walking through a new door in this hour. And you're experiencing a lot of power, like a position. Like you have a position of power. <clears throat> but you need to make sure that this is balanced very well. Holy Spirit, can we get a little deeper? How are they doing in this position? You have a lot of sorrow right now going on. You have a lot of sorrow. But understand something, okay? Don't you love you? See, see the heart? See how there's a rose? And the daggers are going through it. In the Bible, Paul talks about that he had this constant thorn in him. And God would not remove it. He would ask God to remove it. He wouldn't remove it. We don't know what it was. All we know is it was the cross that Paul Paul had to bear. Yeah, don't, unless you want to do my laundry, you can't say nothing. Okay? But, yeah. So, with this, you have, like I said, you, you have a lot of earthly powers, so to speak. And with this, you have had to make a lot of sacrifices to get to where you are right now. And celebration is coming. But I wonder, how are you doing in this position of power? Are you abusing it or are you doing well? Don't forget the people. Don't forget the people. I almost wonder if this is telling me that, um... When you have a position of power, you must always remember, don't you ever do people wrong. When you sit above them, it's not okay because I'm being told that you do have a position of power, earthly power. You have earthly wealth. You have earthly power, right? And then I keep on asking, I'm trying to get clarification. 
on these two cards because I'm wondering if you're abusing your power and that's why you're being called out to have earthly power. Holy Spirit, can we get a little deeper? Because this sorrow, I almost feel like some of y'all, somebody is abusing people, is abusing somebody and leaving them out in the cold because of this, because of this power, this newfound power, if you will. Because you can't do that. You, you don't want to do that. You don't leave people and forget them and bring, okay, Holy Spirit, can you help? Can you clarify this reading? Is this, is this somebody abusing their position? Or is this somebody that is um, actually sitting? Yeah, there's a Queen of Swords who has abused her position. She has abused her position. This could be the person that's going through the sorrow. This could be a, a, divine, a feminine that abused her masculine in their new beginning. And now... She is left in sorrow because she went against, she went against and she abused. Yeah, somebody is being very oppressed right now. They're, they're, uh, they're being very oppressed in this hour. Their hard work has turned to bite them. It's turned to bite them. Yeah, somebody's experienced a lot of downfall because of this position that they have abused. They were given, and I feel this is more or less of a business read on somebody abusing their position. They were given a lot of uh, authority, if you will, a lot of power in this earth, so to speak, right? And that's why they're holding earthly power. It says nothing about spiritual power. And they have abused their position, and they have, and I feel like it's the, it's the feminine. She has abused her masculine and caused great sorrow. She, yeah, she had a lot of material gain. But you just can't do that. You can't do that. You can't. You can't get somewhere and then, and then think you better than somebody and start abusing the people. You just don't do that. And you don't abuse your divine. You don't. You don't abuse your counterpart. Once you get them, you get them, Becky. Like you don't do that. You have left this man in great sorrow. Yeah, he's had to watch his back every which way that he has stepped with you. Love was brought in, and you abused that power, Becky. You abused your love because you started getting material, materialistic, money hungry. How dare you! But masculine, you are building your strength back up. You are sitting from afar, and you're going to watch all your blessings come through for this. Yeah, in your wealth. This woman may have used you. She may have abused you. She may have taken from you. But you're gaining back your wealth. It's all coming back to you. Yeah, 
Yes, masculine, you have the victory. There is no more deception. There is no more secrets. And you have you have a high priestess waiting on you. She's she's with you. This high this high priestess, she lives in her intuition. She lives. Screw Becky. You don't need Becky. Becky wasn't supposed to do that. You're in great sorrow over this love connection. But you have a greater love. This was always divine. This was always divinely guided to happen. Yeah. You're going through a tower moment. It's all karmetic. It's all for things that have done. Maybe, maybe, um, because I can tell this is an ex, or this is assumed to be ex in the in the female world. Okay, and there is a man hurting, and and um, when whoever these people are, they had great power, great position in the earth, and they abused that. And the feminine took her power, and she abused the masculine. She used him for his money. And he, he ended up figuring, he's figuring that out. But his, once he leaves, I don't know if you've already left or if you're going to, but once you leave, your finances are coming back out. Right now you're experiencing a tower moment. And it's just due to karmatic effects, whatever y'all did. But you have a high priestess. She steps back and she watches. Get into yourself, live in your intuition, my friend. Let me see if I can get it. Now, Becky did G30. Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. This could be like a past relationship. Like, you could be single. You could have been single for a while. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know. I just know the reading I'm pulling for y'all. Some of y'all are sitting in regret right now. God's handing you a blessing. He's hand God's handing you a blessing, but you too busy. You too. You still Dear Lord. Yeah, you're crossing over into a new timeline. There's a new timeline you're crossing over into. The world's blessing you, my friend. The Lord has He has seen your struggle. He has seen you literally fight to keep to keep your business together, to keep your relationship together and the whole time a thief came in fighting to take what's yours and you're sitting there and you're fighting. You need to stop fighting so hard, my man. Because right now you have great you have great opportunity before you have great business partners who are gonna help you get through this and to help you see and flip your tower moment upside down so you ain't ever gotta experience that pain again. And you're gonna do well and ain't nobody at your hand ain't nobody. <clears throat> nobody's going to sit in poverty. Remember how in the beginning people were sitting in poverty due to your hand? It could be poverty of the mind state because there's now it, the, the roles reverse. Like you're giving back. You're giving back. Good for you. Let's see what the angel parts. What the angels want to say. You genuinely feel bad for things that you've done, whatever that is. Holy Spirit, you are welcome to you. Oh, angels going to be me. Yeah, you have, 
Yeah, you have God. God's reaching down to you. He's throwing you a wand. He's giving you the inspiration, everything you need, the motivation, everything you need in this hour to move past all of this, everything that just happened. I can't remember what I just read. It was a bad business still, pretty much. A relationship and the relationship dealt with the business still. Yeah. You're being guided through in this hour. The heavenly angels are guiding you in this hour. They are with you. They surround you. What else do you want? Don't you know? Angels. You might feel like you're in a lack of sorrow right now because of all the hard work that you've done and you feel like you feel like, you know, like, oh, that, all that hard work, and it was for nothing. Baby, don't you cry over spilled milk. I don't care what that milk is. You don't cry over that. All right? See a little angel climbed up in the corner? With your spilled cups. No, oh, baby, you got your little angel putting up for you a blessing. You're pouring a blessing out on you. Angel, I don't know that. What do you, angels, what would you like for this individual to know? Like, no, no. I'm taking that, uh-uh, I'm taking it all back. I told you, the angels got your back. They hear your spirit cry. You are, you are developing in the spirit into a godly man. Yeah. You have great love coming in from this. Right now, you might be sitting alone. See how the wand's in the back? In the front, he's holding it. You got the angel up in the corner. He don't see his. He don't see it in the back. The angels back there with the wand. Blessing. The angels have your blessing. Yeah, so you just need to trust the heavenly realm. Yeah, they're fighting for you. They're fighting for you. You're drawing. They are uh, pulling through power from heaven on your behalf. Your queen of swords that, that sliced you? Yeah, no. Nah. That sword's been taken from her. Becky never should have done that because now it's in your hand and you're being divinely guided. Told you. It's nothing but beauty from here on out. The angels have your back. I know that there's been a lot of like time wasted and a lot of hard effort put in. And you can take this message. It, it could be... Massive, you can flip these roles, okay, whatever. If, if it feels like it's for you, then you really need to come. Right now, we're, we're digging in from the angels. The angels are letting you know. They just fell out. The best card, an anarchy card in the deck fell out for you. Like, it's nothing but sunshine, and the angels are out. They're, they're blessing you in this hour. They got your back. They see everything. They know all the pain you went through. They know all the turmoil that people pet you through. And that's why I told you, man. That's why they're blessing you, high, offense, the high Priestess. This is a beautiful woman. She walks in her intuition. You need to let go of the past. Let me cry over. Why do you want that? Because that thing knows how to spread its legs. Becky needs to close her legs for one time. Anyways. Believe y'all. The angels have said that the royal fortune is on you now. You are being blessed in this hour. Keep doing right. If you're doing wrong, you know you're doing wrong. You know you're doing wrong. Can't help you. Becky wants to be a hoe. Becky wants to be a hoe. Brutus wants to be a male hoe. Brutus wants to be a male hoe. You don't, need, you don't got time for all that. Because the will of fortune has turned. This is your time. This is your time. They, they can't walk with you. You got business partners. They got to go. You got people, all that bad stuff in your life that happened, that you did wrong, you did wrong by people, and you've learned from, and other people haven't. Yeah, it's time, it's time to go. You got this. It's time to go. Grab flight, take flight. You straight? You straight. 
not challenging you straight. Just balance your temper. I mean, temperance in the sour. You're balancing in the sour. Ground yourself, my friends. Ground yourself. You got this. You will be celebrating with great love. Love you. I hope this blessed you in some way. Happy Halloween! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry.